There she blows, mateys. The purple white whale. Purple white whale. What the hell, Brock? <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to episode 10 of Depths of Arcala. As always, Rock here. So, uh, we're back in the area we were in uh, last time. Um, have some exploring. Have some monster slaying to do. Lots and lots of exploring. Um, so there's a couple things we can do today. Uh, first things first, uh, I remember there was a box up in the sky over there. And I don't know why. Minecraft, why does your render distance have to be so terrible? This is far render distance right now. Awful. <laughs> I uh, probably could have gotten uh, OptiFine. And maybe I'll get OptiFine at some point. Uh, which would definitely allow us to get much further render distance. Uh, which we should be able to easily handle. But uh, we'll, we'll stick with this for now. Uh, but first things first. Uh, let's get over to the central island. Kind of peek around. See what we want to do from there. Um, like I was saying, we have two options uh, today that we can do. Um, or two options that we can do. Can we do one or both? Um, we have the box off in the far distance. Uh, that would definitely be something good to investigate into. Oh, respawner. Uh, I guess first things first. Oh, another spawner. Uh, let's check out these spawners. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's check out the spawners first. Um, and maybe get a bird's eye view from up top. You guys spawn fast. Okay. Can I get up here? Start. Uh, let's get up to the top here. See if we can get a bird's eye view of the area. Oh, that's a cast. Um, so I'm. Oh the place. Yeah, right there. That's the box I was seeing before. Uh, um, that is so saying one of the options of what we can do today. Um, it just looks like there is something up behind it, which might be worth investigating as well. Um, so we, I think we definitely need to try to clear off this island. Um, I heard you cast. Hi, Pikmin. What's going on? Um, so we definitely want to probably clear off this island. Um, is that a hole or spawn? I think I'm trying to squint at my screen. Uh, there might be a couple spawners around down here. Um, here, let's do this. Um, let's start off. Um, let's explore this island. Um, kind of clear, light up the spawners, destroy the spawners, uh, and at least make a safe passage, and then kind of decide what we want to do from there. Oh, yeah, those, those, those be spawners. Wither skeletons, huh? Okay, going for a bit of another, another theme here, it seems. Uh, oh. Might be able to ignore some of these mobs. Um, at least, oh boy, initially. No. Oh boy. Uh, oh. Excuse me, Scalzes. Got stuff to break. Oh god, there's a lot of skeletons. Okay, uh, let's try to get back to safety. Oh, wither skeletons, mammoth cubes, pigments. This is not a fun area. <laughs> this is gonna be a hell of an area. All right. Um, so we are missing a little bit of XP in order to repair our bow. Currently, I think it's something like 19 XP. Um, so I want to. Um, try clearing that up. Um, I think I have enough XP. Um, let's try to grab a little bit of string. I have to make a bow. Excuse me. I get the third string. Yes, I did. Fantastic. Um, so we can go ahead. Um, let's try to get up here to a safe, safest place. Um, go ahead. Try to do that. Little bit of 
that. Make myself a boo. Uh, we should have more than enough XP at this point to be able to make our uh, repair our bow. Oh, you filthy mobs. Ow. What? No! No! No, hell! Oh, there's a chest! Hold on! Bo! Come back to Papa! <laughs> Where be you, foul beast? Uh, okay, we, well, we got a chest. Oh, God! We got a chest over here we can investigate. There we go. Um, what are you? Trapped? Of course you are. Nope, not trapped, trapped. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Uh, how much do you repair? 27. 31. 27, you say? I can get 27 levels. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and try to grab a few levels here. Um, that is definitely make make things better, because uh, it was going to be like 31 levels to repair the bow before, it seems, because... It's got lore text on it, and it's got to remove all that lore text, and blah, yaddy, blah, blah. Give me that XP. Give me the goods. Break the spotters. Break a ball. Let's try it. Excuse me, my friend. And where did you spawn from? <laughs> That'd be easier than I thought. We get all that XP. All right, just a few smidgens of XP left, and this should do the trick. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so if I read that new bow that I we found, um, I believe it was, um, I believe it was Power Four Infinity, which is exactly what we have on our bow right now. So that should upgrade us to Power Five Infinity. It's amazing. Um, uh, oh, 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 God, I'm so good. <laughs> so good. All right. Well, uh, all I wanted to do was repair, and thanks to that gas and that XP, uh, XP, uh, actually, primarily thanks to that gas for revealing that, uh, that chest for me. And also thanks to that XP not fully, uh, 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 XP cost being all kinds of messed up, which, unfortunately, is still part of the game. Come on, Mojang. Get your shit together. <laughs> um, we didn't accidentally repair our bow and then have it cost more or an unobtainable cost to, uh, actually combine the two. Uh, so we should have, oh, there it is, uh, we should have a nice, nice little power spike on our bow. Um, damn. I'm still waiting for some diamond, uh, because I would love to get that efficiency 5 uh, on a pick. Uh, if I remember correctly, we have an efficiency 5 book at base. I would love to get that on a pick, uh, a diamond pick. While I could put it on an iron pick, I think that would probably be a little bit of a waste of a... Uh, a little bit of a waste of the efficiency five, at least until it becomes possibly more um, easily available. And I think initially, just getting a getting a vanilla diamond pick, just because of the durability uh, durability on them, with the efficiency five would be definitely worthy of the investment. Magma cubes, you are annoying as hell. See, I don't mind slimes because they're little ones. They're not. A, not a potential problem. Because they don't do any damage. Knife cubes. Blade apples. They do tons of damage. Alright. 
Uh, let's just keep going around a little bit. Trying to light up. Uh, break the spawners. Get the XPs. Might come in handy. Okay. Looks like we're doing pretty good on the lighting front. Is that a spawner right there? Oh, hell. Better be sure it is. Okay. I think we're pretty close to getting rid of all the, uh... The bad spawners. Okay. Or at least the, uh, easily available bad spawners. I'm sure there's probably plenty more. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore you, Magma. Magma Q, I'm sorry. Go back. Go back where you... Go back whence you came from! Oh, yeah, there's a couple spawners. And... Gas. Three sixty no scope. MVP of the game. spawner that I know of at the moment. I'm sure there are more. Last one I know of. Alright! I think we did it pretty good. Oh, you skelly. Did you spawn from somewhere recently that I haven't destroyed yet? Or are you just kind of residual mob? Oh boy. That looks like something to investigate at some point. Not right now, though. Uh, okay, I think we've got a pretty good handle, pretty good clearing on this island. Uh, there probably are a number of other spawners around. Oh, like that one. Uh, but I think we got most of them cleared up. Got a good amount of XP off it. Oh, oh, there's another one. Take that back. I didn't get most of them cleared up. I got the ones I care to care to see. Alright. Spawners. Apparently there's one over here. There it is. For such a cluster. <laughs> uh, and how dense these spawners were on this island. It actually wasn't too bad. I'm guessing the soul, the, the soul sand helped a lot uh, in keeping the mobs kind of from just easily piling up and just slaughtering us. Uh, but... Definitely was a lot. Huh? Oh. Okay, uh, so we need to get over there. Uh, I gotta figure out the best way to get over there. Uh, these things are side shoots that we might want to investigate at some point. Are we in hell by them over here? Because if not, I'm gonna water bucket over. If so, I think I'm gonna have to sadly. The sad panda. Oh, I think it's gonna be all hell by them. I'm going to have to sad panda bridge over. Which is probably the worst idea I could have right now, given the presence of skeletons and such. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> because rock doesn't make good decisions. Uh, maybe if I run in... Oh god, no! Uh. I let go of shift. See? Remember that whole rock doesn't make good decisions part? Alright. Oh, I can freely bridge over now. I don't have to worry about, uh... <clears throat> I don't have to worry about going on fire. Uh... That's still held by him. Alright, well. We are gonna have no luck in water bridging. Um, we're just gonna have to go from here. Uh, okay. So we need to go up in that direction. Uh, might be in our best interest to kind of go... Um... Kind of flank it from a side. Hope we don't run into Angry Pigman. Uh, but it might be in our best interest to kind of flank it. Versus kind of going the direct route. Because of um, the most, likel, most likely influx of... Ooh, don't hit the Pigman. Uh, most likely influx of mob spawners and such like that that we will probably run into. Oh, there's 
seven spawner there. Probably another 12 spawners over there. Nice. Work my diet down real quick. Part of me. Don't mind me. <laughs> Spawners around the rim. Don't go near the top. <laughs> you will have a bad day. Okay. Are we okay over here? I think so. Pigmen seem pretty friendly for now. We, uh, we should. Be warned that that probably will not last very long. Okay. See a couple spawners over on the side here. We're gonna have to be careful. I don't want to get overwhelmed and kind of just like, ooh, I see stuff like that. I don't want to get overwhelmed by a, hook, a whole bunch of spawners, like just get like blasted straight into the lava because of skellies, like some power bow or knockback bow skelly or something like that. Or you know, just don't get. O I don't want to get overwhelmed overall. Uh, I'm gonna take it a little bit, well not completely so, but a little bit, a little bit slow, just to take out the spawners. Uh, oh, hello. Iron, lapis, redstone. Okay, so I'm not particularly useful, uh, 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 useful blocks for us, but uh, something we could look into. Uh, it does kind of look like a cave. And wait, is that it? Oh, that was an emerald. I thought I saw a diamond for a second. Hmm. Where are you spawned from? Can't imagine it was a good place. Okay. Um. Probably a blaze spawner up there that... Excuse me, pardon me. I want to deal with you right now. We're not on my radar. Just don't hit the pigment wrong. <laughs> Just don't hit the pigment. You do anything. Just do that, not hit them. These. My cubes are going to make this. Oh, trick, trick, trip over here. A nightmare, aren't they? Excuse me. Pardon me. Just want to break the spawners. Okay. Now we keep the spawner dealt with. Dear lord. <laughs> you guys are annoying. Alright. Keep the hunger up so we can regen. Torches on the bar. Uh, how's the armor doing? So so. Helmet's not doing the best, but I think we can manage. Um, I'm not seeing any huge resistances uh, or resistance uh, when it comes to mobs with that spawner, but I imagine there's probably a spawner on top of the box. Um, if I had to guess, Blaze or Skelly um, that are going to put up a little bit of a fight. Uh, we'll have to be careful about that. Um, okay, let's go over here. Where are these? Oh, there's a lot of spawners around. Holy, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, the magma cubes aren't, like I was saying, not too terribly huge of a threat. Uh, they can be, they can be. But overall, not too terribly huge. Um, I just want to get rid of these skeletons primarily for now. Oh, and blazes. Oh. Okay, well that could have gone south real quick. Um... Uh, 
let's try to let's try to primarily get rid of these skelly spawners first. Uh, then we can look into. Um, we can look into clearing out some of these magma cube spawners. Because like I said, they're not like super threatening. Uh, they, I mean, they can be if you get like completely surrounded. Ooh, 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 please. There's one I wish I had a better book. I mean, I think I can make a better uh, iron pick, but I can't make a better. No, you don't. Um, I can't make a better. Uh, oh, let me rephrase that. I believe I have an efficiency five book at base, so we could make a better iron pick. However, I really want to save that efficiency five for when we find diamond, um, because efficiency five diamond is going to be infinitely better and efficiency five iron infinitely oh no you don't i don't know where you guys are spawning from is there a day spawner over here there sure is There sure is. If there's more over here. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I see another blaze spawner up there. Okay. Uh, let's try to grab these blaze spawners. Um, that should be an easy enough endeavor. I would like to think. Last one interfere. There it is. Okay. Oh. Is there another place spawner? Up and about. Well, I'm sure I'm gonna find out here in a second. Bud. Um, are we safe to bridge over now? Mostly. I think so. Probably want to get rid of that oh, cast sound I hear. Nope. Alright, we're going for it. They're skellies! They're probably on top of the box. Yeah, they are. Oh, wait, they're skeletons. Oh, those are not nearly as bad. I uh, I had a feeling there was going to be something on top of the box. Uh, I was thinking either gas or blaze, but with their skeletons, I could... Oh, there's, there's another spawn over here. Like hell, I can let that stand. <laughs> That's going to cause more problems than it's going to help. I definitely want to invest. Oh, you know what? Evan, we're just going to go around and clear all these blaze spawners around the sides here. Just for. Oh, my pick. Just for safety's sake. Then, I also kind of want to. I also want to peek into this cavern over here. And what better way? <laughs> Clear cut our way over. What better way? Um, okay, well, um, before I go over to the box, um, I think I actually want to investigate into this cave. See what it's all about. It's very shiny. Has a lot of iron. Spiders. And bears! Jesus! Curious as to where this is gonna lead. Maybe next intersection. Oh, 
Um, it does definitely have a lot of iron, which is really nice. Um, and not that, not that loose iron ore type. The, 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 the good stuff, the blocks. Uh, though I will say this seems exceptionally easy. Uh, a little worried. Oh, that looks like an intersection if I've seen one. And I've seen many. Aurea pick. Oh, buddy. <laughs> well, found that uh, pick upgrading. I was pick, pick upgrade. I was wanting. What are you? Where do you lead? You lead to a shortcut back to the intersection or the monument? That would be nice. Maybe a lookout tower. Maybe my death. to this. Well, you're trapped. Uh-huh. So this is most likely a shortcut back to the monument. Awesome. I don't have my feather fall boots on, so I'd be a little careful with that. <laughs> that would be an embarrassing way to die this episode. All right. Brewing stands, fantastic. What are you? Uh, I have a bone mill machine. <gasps> Chatty table. Safe bed. It's like Christmas. <laughs> oh, buddy. Intersection five. End of the road. Portal Island, the source, Death's Domain, Tree of Life. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, awesome. Um, now I'm curious as to, because we found the wall in there, and there's probably two more walls in the intersection. No, so, no, we're missing one wall. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to drop off some supplies in meow. We definitely don't need to carry all of this. Uh, ooh, do, do, do. Fantastic. We have like torch supplies in here. Of course not. All right, perfect. Uh, so we found the way to intersection five. That's good news for us. Um, we still have a wool to nab over here, and then a possible, <coughs> possible nether area to investigate. Where did you guys come from? Did you just spawn under something? Did you follow me? You followed me, didn't you? I don't know. I'm just gonna ignore you. Oh god. <laughs> it's so good! Oh, this is gonna melt the spawners. What's on here? Efficiency 4. Mmm. Mmm. I wanna. Oh no! Uh. Uh. Run, run. Oh, I didn't throw the fires this one. Uh. Okay. Well, try to get on top. We'll have to give it another whirl. Damn, where the skeletons? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this oh, it's my favorite type of pick. Pseudo one clicks. All right. Um, uh, let's see if I can get back on top. I just want to take out the spawner just to make it safe. Oh, wow, there's a lot of spawners. No, no, no. All right. Safe. Q. 
Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hello. Yoink. Awesome. Uh, okay, that gives me a wool. Um, I don't think, I don't know how long I've been going. Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to run, I'm going to make a run with this back to the intersection real quick and meet you back over here most likely, uh, depending on the recording time. Uh, I think I've got time for more. Uh, but I will double check verify. Oh god, no! Monsters! Jesus! Um... You monsters. <laughs> they tried. They tried. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna make the run backdrop off the wall and uh we are back. Well, uh, it seems we've been going for about 31 minutes. I think uh, it went a little longer than I anticipated, but um, I think we're gonna have to call it there for today. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything meaningful within a, a little little bit of time, amount of time I have left for today. Um, so we're gonna call it there for today. Um, we'll head back into the portal, just investigate around, see what that's all about next time. Uh, but, yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Bye!